I was reading through the comments, and most of the time I do that. I, I forgot if I put it at the beginning of this video, but I ask people if they can make clips of my of my videos. Is this it? Um, no. If I had the merch now, I would wear it, and it looks beautiful. And the why don't you have it? Thing is anti, you know. Did you eat it? Okay. Okay, anyway, this is what I do. I like to <laughs> This is the stuff I like to look through. And I came across one. I hope I can find it. Oh, maybe it's this. Okay, okay. I was I've been off my groove for a while, okay? I told you guys, I'll, I'll say it for this video. I've had some personal shit going on. Um you know, people who don't know me, I don't like to get super personal. Like, oh, this is who I am. It's 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 a, I don't eh, I'm going to do it anyway. But I've been a little bit off my groove, a little off my game. Um, I, I'm somebody, I used to have two partners, right? Right. So I had a fiance of seven years and I have a girlfriend of two years, two and a half years. Right. And my fiance and I broke up about a month ago and she just like finally was able to move out. She had gone on like a vacation. She already pre-planned. It was, so it's weird. It's a weird adjustment. I've realized both of us, we, uh, we, we broke up mutually. We've just grown apart from each other. You know what I mean? We grew apart. Both of us, I think we're struggling with the poly aspect. It's like a lot to go into. It's hard to say I'm not poly. I thought I was, and we all, you know, whatever. So it's myself and my girlfriend. I'm very happy, but it's like, uh, it's just like, um, it's, it's, it's a big change and it's hard to express because I haven't sat down and like thought about it in this massively critical context where I can ex specifically explain myself. You know, I hope that she does well. Um, and we're still in contact, you know, we're still friendly. We broke up mutually. Like I said, we grew apart. So I've been a little bit off my game. Uh, I've watched this Trisha video and I think I missed something, right? This is the video that says we filmed the new frenemies, but it won't air. That's Trisha's video, right? And I was watching it. And my whole perspective is this doesn't make sense that you filmed the new frenemies, right? Because at the beginning of the video, what, what, what was it? 42, 45? At the beginning of the video, she's wearing fake frenemies merch that she admits is fake. She doesn't have the real merch whatsoever. She goes on a tangent about how uh, Ethan would apologize for something. It was probably something small. Oftentimes in, in arguments, even when somebody is more wrong, there's usually blame on both sides. We'll say 95% Trisha, 5% Ethan. That's 5% though. It's such a big deal, you know? Um, <clears throat> thank you. <laughs> anyway, all jokes aside. Um, but she went on about how, like, basically he was a coward for not releasing it. But somebody tagged me in a part of the video that I was like, wait a minute. I think I might have missed something. And I'm going to have to scroll down because I forgot the time. Because I fucking... Yeah, I, I'm gonna slow it down because I have it on 2x speed. Because like you can see in the video, I'm I'm like falling asleep because it's just such it's Trisha is so difficult to listen to. She she's just so annoying. She's so difficult to listen to. Okay, but anyway, let's listen. Birth is at noon. <laughs> this is really too slow. He's like, oh, it's not happening. He's like, where are you? I'm like, at your house. <laughs> 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 it was so funny because I was so worried about it and I got like glam. I got my friend of me's weight. I was like, and then if it wasn't going to happen, I was going to look really stupid with this wig on today. <laughs> All right. So if you listen to that distorted audio, let's try it. Let's just start over again. He's like, oh, it's not happening. He's like, where are you? I'm like, at your house. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. So. What she just this is the problem. This is this is how Trisha exposes herself. She was talking about how they had a, a last episode of Frenemies that was supposed to air. What she just said contradicts that thing one hundred percent. I'm like at your house. Right? Cause she says this is listen to it one more time. <laughs> He's like, Oh, it's not happening. He's like, Where are you? I'm like, He's like, Oh, it's not happening. Where are you? Like, at your house. And she's like, I'm at your house. <laughs> I was so funny because I was so worried about it and I got like glam. I got my friend of me's wig. I was like, and she's like, oh, I got so worried. I got glam in my friend of me's wig, which tells us that this is now because she references this as her, as her, as her friend of me's thing. And then if it wasn't going to happen, I was going to look really stupid with this wig on today. <laughs> and then if it wasn't going to happen, the point I'm making is, is that there was never an intention to have a fucking friend of me's podcast last episode. She made it up. She went there and we don't know the specifics of the situation, but I almost guarantee you what happened is like she decided to show up to do a friend of me's podcast and like to, in some weird intrusive way when Ethan didn't want to. And then she's like, oh, we're doing a podcast. Right? And he's like, well, no. And then like they probably had the set still set up. So they filmed the podcast or they sat in the place 
place that they normally sit. And either in her warped perspective or just like she convinced herself that it was an episode of Frenemies, even though it wasn't. This is her admitting that there was never any intention for an episode of Frenemies. Couple that with the fact that she didn't even have the merch. Because if the whole point, the whole point of them potentially doing the last episode of Frenemies was to promote the merch, which she didn't have on because there was never an intention to do that. This it is just freaking ridiculous, and I and and I and I missed it. I missed that part. I I missed that part because I was so tired. And she had a fucking like forty minute video, and we got to a certain point where I was like, "Holy shit!" I'm playing it on double speed. I'll hear it, and I missed it. So thank you to this person who caught this for me. Um, if I could find them again, yeah, right here, Chrissy Lee, right here. 45 42 45 he told her the episode wasn't happening and she said she was at the house i'm so confused yeah i know get my shit together it's unacceptable i'm sorry i am genuinely sorry dude my fucking bad anyway trisha i just felt like i needed to bring that up because trisha's a big stinky poop and she's full of shit i i just wonder like what was going through her head oh let me go over to ethan's house like they were maybe they were going over for like a family function or something or, like, they were supposed to have... I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know the speculation. Trish is full of shit, though. That's all I wanted to say. I felt like that was important to talk about. Okay? I felt like that, I felt that was uh, very important to talk about. Very suspicious character. Hey, everyone. If you liked that video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow my Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and TikTok. All links are in the description. Also, check out my Patreon if you'd like to support me even more than you already do. Thank you so much, everyone. I love you all.